Your certified most accurate four zone weather with meteorologist Jeanette Kaye. I'm sort of getting used to this dreary weather. It's you been are? hanging around for so long. <laughs> yes, yeah, in the last couple of days. My goodness, uh, today I think is like the worst of it. Just mm -hmm. that persistent mist. We've it's been dealing with it since awful. overnight. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it's going to continue through this morning. Now, this afternoon may not be as wet, but I can't completely rule out an isolated shower, maybe a thunderstorm. That storm chance increases a bit tonight, and then more storms are possible late tomorrow night into early Sunday. Next week, drier, but very hot. Humidity is just very thick. We're getting a lot of moisture that's coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. Dew point temperatures are in the 70s, and we're talking uh, low to mid 70s. There's also fog, so along with the bit of rain we're seeing, watch for low visibility. It's quite low anywhere from northern to uh, western Bear County at the airport. Visibility at two and a half miles, two miles in New Braunfels. Also seeing some of that fog south along I-37. Live power Doppler radar showing you those patches of green, indicating where we're seeing that mist. Early Earlier, there were some showers off towards the east and southeast. Again, can't rule out maybe a brief shower in parts of the area as well as we go through the day. Uh, farther to the east and northeast, north of Houston, check out those thunderstorms. These are slow moving storms producing a lot of heavy rain, and uh, there is the concern for flooding. This region saw heavy rain yesterday, and with more rain this morning, flooding is a big concern. That's a flood watch. Lighter green is a flood advisory. In the red, that's where flooding is more in. It. Those are flash flood warnings. So heads up if you're heading towards Houston at some point this morning. Across the country, well, we're seeing rain, but it's mostly lighter rain that's moving farther east from the Great Lakes to the Tennessee Valley. Snowfall back across Wyoming and Montana. Here is a dry line, very famous Texas dry line, a drier air behind the front, very humid air ahead of that boundary. Once that boundary heads farther east, that could help to trigger a thunderstorm or two across our northern and western areas late today. This afternoon here, partly to mostly cloudy with a shower or two possible, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Into tonight, an increased storm chance up to 30%. We're talking anywhere from northern Bear County into the hill country and then eventually uh, early tomorrow morning over the northern part of the eastern zone. Tomorrow during the day looks pretty quiet and then it gets a little more active tomorrow night into early Sunday. There's a complex of storms that may come in from the hill country and those storms could be on the noisy side with frequent cloud to ground lightning along with heavy rain, high winds and the potential for some hail. Storm Prediction Center has the area under a marginal risk for isolated strong to severe storms, primary hazard being large hail. Areas of fog and mist this morning uh, with temperatures on the mild to warm side, mid to upper 70s. As we go through the afternoon, it'll be partly to mostly cloudy forecast high in the mid to upper 80s with a shower or thunderstorm possible. The western zone this afternoon, a 30% rain chance, otherwise partly sunny. Hill country mostly cloudy this afternoon with a 20% rain chance. And throughout the afternoon hours in the eastern zone, a 30% chance for showers and thunderstorms. We're looking at a 30% rain chance tonight, 10% during the day tomorrow, 40% tomorrow night into early Sunday, single to mile 85. Next week, check out those high temperatures, 92 Tuesday, 95 Wednesday, upper 90s by next Thursday. But it'll feel like the triple digits here late next week when you had the humidity. Here's the extended forecast for everybody else. One more, here's the extended for the eastern zone. Keep the umbrella handy.